Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel it in the body. If it feels comfortable, keep it up. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can change. You can make it deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower, more refined. Whatever feels best right now. If the body needs energy, breathe in a way that gives it more energy. If you're feeling tense, breathe in a way that's more relaxing. You want the mind to be in a state of balance here in the present moment. Because when the mind is in balance, okay, then it can see things clearly for what they are. For instance, you can reflect on today. Here, it's the New Year's Day. We've succeeded in maintaining our human treasure for another year. That's what it is. The fact that you've been born as a human being, you have the capabilities to come with a human birth. That's a treasure. And with every treasure, you want to learn how to manage it properly. You don't want to waste it. You don't want to spend it on things that are going to not return the value of what you originally had. A lot of us don't know how to manage our, our human treasure, and so the Buddha gave directions. There are basically seven qualities, he said. The first four go, come together as a set. There's conviction that your actions really matter. And if you do good, you'll get good results. may not be right away, but you'll get good results down the line. So you want to act on good intentions. If you act on unskillful intentions, you get unskillful resu or undesirable results. That conviction in that fact is what carries through all the rest, because you realize your actions are the most important things you've got. The abilities you have to think and act and speak, that's the essence of your human treasure. It's not the things you can hold on to, it's the abilities you have that you want to develop. So based on that, we develop a sense of shame and compunction. In other words, you'd be ashamed to do anything that's beneath you, anything that's harmful. And you realize that if you do that, it's going to cause harm down the line. So just, you don't want that harm, so out of concern for that, you don't want to do it. And then there's virtue. The ability to step back from anything that you know would be harmful to yourself or to other people and just say no. You just want to do that. And it's not just saying no. There are lots of things you want to say yes to. This is where the remaining qualities come in. There's learning. You want to learn about the teachings so you can get more guidance on how to use this human treasure well. You want to develop generosity, learning that life doesn't isn't measured by the things you have, but it's measured by the qualities of your mind. And so you want to learn how to give of the things you can share to spread your goodness around. That way you develop good qualities of mind. The people around you benefit too. And finally, there's discernment, the ability to see what's right, what's wrong, what's skillful, what's not. Even beyond what you've learned from other people, you begin to see in your own actions when you've acted on unskillful behaviors, unskillful motives, and you can figure out how to not do that again. If you have acted on skillful motives and the results came out well, you can pat yourself on the back. You realize that you've done something good. You've learned on your own. Because this is a basic principle. The Buddha can teach you only so much. You have to be in charge of what you're doing and saying and thinking all the time, 24-7. And all the details that come in in your particular life, you've got to learn how to handle them skillfully. So this is how you look after your human treasure. So at the very least, you don't lose it. And at the very best, you can develop into higher treasures. There's a treasure of a heavenly birth. There's a treasure of nirvana. These things are even higher than what we've got already. You look around you. The human birth has its good points, but it also has its bad points. It's got its drawbacks. And there's aging, there's illness and death, things we don't like to think about, but we have to prepare for them. If you want to lift your mind above that, okay, think about higher treasures that you can develop. It's basically the same seven qualities that you use to develop the treasures even further even more firmly convinced in the principle of your actions. How you develop sense of shame and compunction, virtue, learning, discernment, generosity. These are the things that maintain your human treasure and develop into higher and higher levels. So don't take the fact that you've got a human body and you've got a human mind for granted. It came from all the good you did in the past. So learn to take what you've got here and make the most of it. So that when you invest your time and your energy, the investment is going to pay off into even higher treasures. That way you really benefit from the fact that you've maintained this treasure for another year. And keep on maintaining as long as you can. <laughs>